to tape, um, you know, it, start off defensively, I felt like it was a tale of two halves. Um, I don't think we played uh, very well in the first half of the game. Um, and I thought we came back out and executed a lot better in the second half and, you know, gave ourselves a chance. I feel like offensively, I think we moved the football. We did some good things. Uh, and yet we weren't able to capitalize and finish on drives and score touchdowns down there in the red area. Uh, that's something that has to improve. Um, and and look, I thought, um, you know, there's a lot of good things we did in the in the kicking game, and yet I think two field goals um, really kind of changed the outcome of the game. Uh, you're playing the game differently at the end of the game if you're, you know, able to convert on one of those. So. Um, Certainly, there's there's some things that we we've got to we've got to be better at, and uh, we're going to work hard to improve on those things. How do you think you guys do better in, in the red zone? Like, what, what are you... Yeah, look, I think I think it boils down to our ability to to be able to execute, um, and and by execution, I mean like you know if we're if we're getting to a certain check or or. You know, getting to a certain play, making sure everybody understands exactly what they're all supposed to be doing, so that we can go out and actually perform that job the proper way on the field. Um, and that's a combination, you know, of you know we've got to do a better job of coaching it, um, and we've got to do a better job of playing it. It sounds like your issue this week than, than normally. It seemed like there was just a no. Lot that's of that's kind of been that's kind of been a, a little bit of our issue. Um, I do feel like we've been able to move the ball. Uh, effectively at times this season, um, and yet, whether it be by a penalty, um, a negative yardage play, um, you know we don't we don't um, run a proper route. Um, you know, there's something that that happens that you know keeps us from being able to score touchdowns down there, and uh, you know that that has to be that has to be cleaned up. It has to be better. Are you saying like there's communication issues with them? Right? Well, there was a couple, um, you know, in the in the game yesterday that that you know I felt like had you know opportunities for us. Um, you know, we had a we had a um, we had a miscommunication on the on the run play there on third down that you know um, I think has a chance to 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 convert to a first down anyway and give us some more downs down there. So yeah, there was a few of those in the game. Yeah. That's not, I guess it's easy to look at it and think scoring down there is easier because you're closer. But the reality is with that there are challenges having smaller yeah, the space, areas the, of work. The space is confined down there, and that's why, like, um, I won't get into what my saying is down there, but, but yet, um, you know, um, everything happens faster in the, in the, in the red zone. And so... You can't be, you know, a yard off. Um, you know, you can't be on the edge of a block. Now, this is offensively and defensively. You know, I mean, this is this is not uh, specifically to the offense. I mean, you know, whether you're defending the red area um, or you're trying to score in the red area, like the little bitty details matter. Um, and because if you're off by just a little bit. Um, you know, on defense, it ends up being touchdowns, and and you know, offensively, it keeps you from scoring touchdowns. Well, towards the offense itself, how do you present a higher standard where it's like defense only gives it twenty points? We have to be of a more complimentary side of the football. Yeah, yeah, we 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 do. Um, you know, and and look, um, obviously, this is a this is a team game, um, and and all of us take part in 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 a loss, and all of us take part in a win. Um, yeah, we all we can do is just go back to work and and uh, you know continue to grind at it, and um, I just believe eventually that's gonna that's gonna turn around for us. We keep um, you know trying to see what we can do better, really on both sides of the ball. So um, you know we had a couple opportunities to stop them down in the red area, and 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 you know weren't able to do that on a couple of occasions. So um, felt like that was a big difference in the game. When you do that, like a receiver running the wrong route, and the quarterback and receiver not on the same page, like what is the process for for getting that right? Like how do you how do you guys coach that? Yeah, well, I I think I think it goes 
some of it is we got to make sure that the, the player, like from a coaching standpoint, we got to make sure that the player understands exactly what the potential. Look, every play that you go into a, a, a game offensively, I mean, there's very few plays that are just here's the play call and this is what we're doing, no matter what the defense does. Most of them have some sort of potential check, adjustment based on you know what the defense is doing. And so I think that communication has to be better. I think we've got to work on that with coaching staff. I think the, the quarterbacks and the receivers have to do a better job of making sure they're on the same page. Um, you know, and and uh, but until we until we do that, we're, we're going to continue to struggle down there in the red area. So that's got to get cleaned up. If they really kick Caesar out to right tackle, was that kind of the plan going in? If the prime went down, he would be there. Uh, no, that was the plan after we had a couple of injuries. You know, so um, you know, and that's that's part of it's part of our you know game that we're playing in. Um, you know, Andrus was was kind of down with the groin injury that he got. I, I guess it was um, maybe the last play of practice on on uh, Thursday, um, and so we had to adjust you know our plan a little bit there, and we had him up in case of an emergency, and so he would have been the eighth offensive lineman. He'd have been the next one to go in the game. What's your confidence level with Blake Ruby right now? Is, is yeah, look, my, my confidence level is still good on him. I mean, the 52-yarder, I mean, look, I thought he hit a good ball. It leaked a little bit right. You know, the, the short one, you know, that can't, ha that can't happen. Um, so, um, you know, just the week before he kicked two 50-plus yard field goals and, and, you know, was a NFC Special Teams Player of the Week. So, um, you know. He he's he understands that he has to be better in that in that situation, and I believe he will be. What's been your assessment of the offensive play calling in the red zone? Um, look, when you're not scoring down there, okay, um, there there's a there's a lot of factors that go into that. Um, can we call better play calls? Yeah, we probably can. You know, um, and yet I think if we execute some of the play calls that are called. Um, I think we might see some 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 better results. So I, I don't think I don't think anybody can pinpoint that to one particular area and say that's the that's the issue, that's the problem. You know, I think we're all uh, involved in that, and I think all of us have to take ownership in that. Dennis, some of your players after the game kind of alluded to I don't know um, people not taking care of details. Some of the other players, do you think that's just? The frustration of losing a game, the emotions of that, or do you think there's something? Well, no. I, look, um, yeah, there's there's obviously some some emotions that that, that go into that, and, and and yet when you go back and you watch the tape, there's there's some details that um, don't get executed that um, you know cost us either the ability to. Um, you know, either convert a third down, score in the red area, keep somebody from scoring in the red area. Um, yeah, there was there was there were some details there that um, that have to be better. And, and look, quite frankly, look, we have to we have to do a better job of coaching in those areas because, um, you know, just like I was just talking about, you know, play calling. I mean, it's not when we say execution, we're not just saying the players have to do better. That's not that's not at all what we're saying. Um, we got to do a better better job of coaching it because I think we have guys that want to do it right, um, and so you know if they're not, then we got to look at you know is the volume too much? Are we asking too much of a of a, of a particular player? You know, are we coaching it the right way? Um, you know, and 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 if we feel like we're doing all those things and we're still not getting the execution that we that we need, then you know maybe it needs to be a, a different person doing that job. So I think we got to look at all those things. Much pressure on the defense to be perfect. It's talked as if they had a, such a failure during the game. I mean, first half wasn't good, but they only gave up twenty points. Is there too much pressure on them to? I think that I think I think you can hold yourself to a standard. All right, and when you watch the first half, that's not the standard of football that we want to play defensively. So take all the other BS out of it. That's not the standard that we want to play at, um, and that's why I say this is a team game. You know. Um, we put ourselves in a hole that we couldn't climb out of, and we have to be better than that. You 
said you feel like you guys can ground your way to where you need to be on offense. What are the things you're seeing that, that give you the confidence that it's, that it's kind of Well, look, I, I mean, we, we – we had 430 yards offense in the game, you know, so there were some good things that we did in the game. Um, and yet, when you kind of look at the season, you know, there's been games where we've moved the ball um, and, and we, haven't, we haven't been good enough in the red area. I looked defensively. There was a couple years ago, a few years, few years back, we weren't, we weren't playing very good red zone defense, you know, and we grinded our way through it and figured it out and then – you know, we've been one of the better red zone defenses the last couple of years. So, um, you know, I have all the confidence in the world that we'll, you know, um, we'll put our we'll put our thoughts together and and uh, and put together a good plan, and we'll get we'll get better in that area. Now, do we have to look at what we're doing? Maybe how we're practicing it? You know, there's a lot of things that go into that. But yeah, I think um, I think we will get better at that. Is there ever an easy fix to things like this, like the example you just described about the defense? No, it's hard work. It's a lot of hard work. It's, yeah, it's a lot of hard work, you know. Um, yeah, it took a while, you know. And, and look, honestly, part of that was me. I thought we were doing too much in the red zone defensively, you know, kind of scaled back a little bit in terms of what we did. And then we got really good at the things that we were doing. So um, – we started practicing a little bit of that on, on you know, on Thursday. So, um, got to identify issues and, and, and figure out how, how we're going to fix them. Do you have a better chance of improving when you have veteran players who will stand up after a game and say, we have to be accountable and it's not just on the coaches, it's on us? Does that Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, think that's, I think that's the nature of pro football. You know, I do think we have a, a, a veteran group that understands that, um, you know, we all have a part in this, um, coaches and players. I, I think our coaches understand that. I think our players understand that. I think collectively as a group we need to be better. Um, and so we're going to continue to, you know, work until we get it right. Initial thoughts on Jacksonville? Um, I think it's a really good football team. I think they have done a really good job defensively of taking the ball away. I think they lead the league in, in takeaways. Um, I think they're a tough physical group on defense. Um, I think offensively, I think it's as good a skill group as, as we'll see you know, all season. Um, from the runner to the tight ends to the receivers. Um, quarterback, I think, is a... Uh, a really good, really good player. He's athletic, can make all the throws. Um, I think they're explosive on offense. They're one of the better explosive play offenses that we'll see. Um, so um, I think it's a, I think it's a really good football team that we're playing. What kind of challenge do you have with your O line this week, considering? Yeah, um, yeah, we'll 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 see exactly where we're at. I mean, obviously, um, you know, Ryan had the. Uh, the concussion in the game and, and Hurst had a foot. So kind of see how that plays out throughout the week. And, you know, um, if they're unable to go, then, you know, obviously some other guys are going to have to step up. And, uh, you know, I think saw that a little bit last night in the, in the giant game. And, you know, they're playing with a backup quarterback, a lot of offensive linemen down. And, you know, they had to go in and try to find a way to give them, give themselves a chance to win the game. And, you know, I thought they did a good job of kind of putting themselves in, at least in a position to win against a good Buffalo team. That's the third offensive line with a concussion so far. Is that just something you chalked up to bad luck, or do you start looking at, like, are we doing something technique-wise? Yeah, um, yeah, I haven't gone into, you know, you know exactly the, the, the technique and seeing if that's, you know, part of it. Um, it's a violent game that we play. Though that's part of, uh, you know, the game that we play. So, um Certainly, you know, we want to try to minimize those as much as we can. What do you have to, to do this week to kind of get these guys' bodies back? It's a short week for press week. Obviously. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of a lot of mental, a lot of walkthrough, and a lot of um, time spent, you know, um, in recovery, you know, um, in the training room, doing all the different things that we have. Uh, we've invested a ton of money into a lot of um, – you know, recovery equipment. And so, 
you know, our guys are going to have to do a really good job of taking care of their bodies this week. Um, and the preparation this week will be more of a mental nature than it will be of a physical nature in terms of what we do on the field. Um, but, yeah, that, I think that's always the challenge on a, on a Thursday night game is um, trying to get them, you know, after playing a, a tough game, trying to get a guy, get his body back ready to go. Do you have any update on her specifically? Uh, nothing other than it's it's basically kind of the same, you know, foot injury that he had, uh, you know, previously that he that he sustained in, in practice and, um, you know, was able to play through it two weeks ago. Okay, guys, thanks.